we saved the best for last, but this time we're going to start with Jack Gutman. So, Jack, would you come on up? And uh, here's our comedian. Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Chuck. Can you hear me okay? All right, let me get my little cheat sheet out here. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, great. Right in your face. <clears throat> now, before I tell a couple of stories, I'd like to tell you uh, something that happened to me a couple of weeks ago. Um, there was an old buddy of mine that after I finished the, doing the invasion of Normandy, uh, I went back to uh, New York and then they sent me on the ocean side and I met a guy who became my best friend. Uh, his name was Jerry Ackerman. And then we got separated when we were ready to get ready to go to Okinawa. I went on to Okinawa. He went on to another ship. And it turned out I was sitting having the COVID um, disease. And my wife who had got COVID. And um, it was pretty rough. <clears throat> I was desperate, a little depressed because I couldn't talk to, I was doing a lot of speaking and everything was shut down. But it turned out I get a call from a, on the phone that says, in my depressed mood, a call comes and it says, are you Jack Gutman? I said, yeah. And he said, have you ever been in Oceanside? I said, yes, after Normandy. And he says, do you know a Jerry Ackerman? And I said, Sure do. I have his picture on my wall with the other group, and he's a nice man, and uh, it was good. he was my best friend, and he said, he's my father, and he's been looking for you for 75 years. He says, you were the best thing that ever happened to him, and he finally found me, and I talked to him. Well, anyway, two weeks ago, we wound up having a reunion, and uh, they had the reunion in uh, Carl uh, down there in San Diego, and it turned out in the hotel that he was staying in the lobby, CBS was there, and we wound up on CBS uh, with our review. I mean, meeting each other for after 75 years, and it was on the 7 o'clock news in San Diego. And so I thank God for that. And, and, Anyway, things happen, and I'm just very blessed by it. <clears throat> by the way, people travel. How many of you have gone on vacation yet? Any? Well, a couple of you. Well, you'll get the chance to go, you hope, you know. Anyway, there was a group that from, uh, went to Holland, and uh, the tour guide is showing them all around in the, in the countryside, and showed them a uh, on one hill, there was a bunch of goats, and uh, and uh, on the other side of the hill was also a bunch of goats. And one of the people said, well, what is the difference between those two goats? He said, well, you see, those are the new goats on the left side, and the old goats, we put them out to pasture. What do you do with the old goats in America? He says, well, they usually go on cruises and vacations. <laughs> there was a, a gal that uh, uh, <clears throat> a man gets a call. And, uh, he's sitting on a plane next to this lady. And he looks down at her finger, and he sees a diamond ring. And he goes, lady, I don't want you to think I'm starting out with you. I see that diamond ring. Biggest diamond I ever saw. She says, no, you like this diamond? This is what they call the Klotman diamond. He says, the what? He says, this is the Klotman diamond. It's like the Hope diamond. It comes with a curse. He says, what kind of curse comes with the Klotman diamond? He says, Miss, she said, Mr. Klotman. <laughs> Good. When you tell your wife, you get another laugh at that. I'm sure of that. Uh, there were three men 
that were walking along the beach and uh, they kicked over a, a jar and the genie appears. And then all of a sudden, he says, uh, genie says, I'll grant you each one wish. And so one guy says, I like to be very, very intelligent. So genie snapped his fingers and right away he starts expounding on things that they've never heard before. And they said, wow. So the second guy says, I'd like to be twice as smart as him. So snapped his finger and he is expounding on bigger things. And they're just amazed. And then the genie says, what to the third guy person, what do you want? He says, I'd like to be smarter than both of them. So the genie snapped the, thing, his, his, the fingers and he turns into a woman. I know you women love that. I know that. Yeah. A guy, a guy is walking. A, comes onto a farm, and he says to the farmer, "Hey, um, I'm from the state, and I want to inspect your farm." He says, "Well, do me one favor. Don't go into the north meadow." And he goes, "What'd you say?" He says, "Don't go into the north meadow." He pulls out a card and says, see this card? The guy said, yeah. He goes, well, I'm going to tell you something. This card tells me I can go anywhere I want. So don't tell me I can't go anywhere. Now, if I'm going to the first in the North Meadow, he says, OK, go ahead. So about 10 minutes later, he hears a screaming. And he's, he sees a bull chasing this guy. And he goes, help me. Help me, help me. He says, show him your card. Show him your card. So Chuck Pennington, I'll show you my microphone. God bless you. I love you all. I guess first. Mr. Jack Gutman. Yay. 96 years old and going strong. <laughs> well, Tom, you're up. Mr. Coach Tom Meese, let's hear a round of applause for Tom. Give him a hand now, he probably won't get one later. <laughs> Let me oh finish. My, we're getting fancy here, Chuck. Yeah. Jeez. yeah, you're on TV too. All right, all right. Whoa, how about that? Well, there are only two kinds of football coaches, those that have been fired and those that are going to get fired. So I, <laughs> I learned that right off the bat. But, uh, you know, Chuck has been on a, on a diet. I don't know if you've noticed. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> he's on this diet and, uh, and uh, his wife, so Corrine saw him uh, the other day and uh, he's standing on the scales and he's sucking in his stomach. And so Corrine says, that's not going to help Chuck. And he says, yes, it will. I can see the numbers. <laughs> so anyway, they were both blissfully happy for 25 years, and then they met. Um, so, and uh, 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 Jack here, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's really in good shape for his age and everything, but he does have a hearing problem, and he went into the uh, uh, hearing aid specialist. Remember this, don't you, Jack? And anyway, uh, the guy fixed him up with some brand new hearing aids. And uh, so Jack goes home, and man, I mean, his hearing was like 20 years old. It was really, really good. And um, so he goes back to the, to the uh, hearing aid guy, and he says, uh, boy, these are really great. And he says, are they, are they good? He says, yeah. He says, I hear perfectly. He says, boy, I bet your family's happy to hear that, huh? And Jack says, no, I, I didn't tell any of them. You didn't tell them? He said, no, I just, I just been sitting around and listening. And he said, I've changed my will three times. <laughs> So anyway, um, well, I, I better squeeze this in here. I, it's my, my duty, is, of course, to explain a little bit about Jog, which is just old guys. I mean, just ordinary guys. And uh, we're, we, are, we, we boast that we're still able to bend over and pick up things we drop. But anyway... Um, Jog is on a CBMC format, and that is that uh, we just enjoy getting people together and they fellowship with one another. 
they have a commonality and that uh, they love the Lord. And, uh, and then our purpose is to point out to everybody, even though we meet on the church grounds, this is not a church and, uh, and Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship. And that uh, anybody that's willing uh, to uh, ask Christ into their lives, that uh, he can do it, you can do it anywhere. At a stop sign, laying in bed, or here today, whatever. And you can have a personal relationship with Jesus. And he loves you, and he cares for you. And uh, so uh, we're, we're not about uh, religions, and, uh, and we're about this relationship. Um, is that you, Lord? I, <laughs> I hope it's not my phone, but it could be. Anyway, um, let's see. There was one other thing I wanted to pass along. Uh, oh, this inflation is just, you know, it's terrible. And uh, I, I went in the grocery store the other day. I couldn't believe it. I can remember the day you, that I could go into a grocery store with $3 in my pocket and come out with eggs, milk, uh, little things that you can own, that you can pick up. And uh, But I don't care where you go now. There's cameras everywhere. <laughs> so, Chuck, it's up to you. Right. Tom, thank there. you very much. All right. Uh, Bob, are you ready? Are you set? Let's hear from Mr. Give it a round of applause for Mr. Bob Goodrich. <laughs> Bob, we're going to put you on. Oh, you got a mic right there. Yeah. I think we still have to put this on. Hold on. No, that ain't going to work. Can you hear me now? We are really getting high tech. In fact, we are creating a YouTube account for Jock, where you can be able to go back and see previous uh, previous speakers and what they had to share. And so we, we want to include our comedians as well as our Mr. Bob <clears throat> This land is your land. This land is my land. From California. To the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water, this land was made for you and me. You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag, and forever in peace may you wait. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart. For the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. And should old acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. Okay. Hurrah! Wait, wait a minute. The wind here is. Hurrah for the flag of the free. May it wave as our standard forever, the gem of the land and the sea, and the banner of the right. Let despots remember the day when our fathers with mighty endeavor proclaimed as a march to the fray that by their right and by their might they prayed forever. That wind is a little bad there. Over there, over there. Send the Yangs in the world over there. That the Yangs are coming, the Yangs are coming. The drums rum coming everywhere. So prepare, say a prayer. Send the word, send the word to beware. And we'll be over, we're coming over, and we won't come back till it's over, over there.
I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle do or die. A real life nephew of my uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. Well, I've got a Yankee Doodle sweetheart, she's my Yankee Doodle joy. Oh, Yankee Doodle came to London just to ride the ponies, I am the Yankee Doodle boy. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, this truth is marching on. God bless America. You may join in if you'd like. Land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountain to the prairie to the ocean, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. For purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea oh beautiful oh patriot dream that sees beyond the years thine alabaster cities clean undimmed by human America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood, from sea to shining sea, America, sweet America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shine.